in part three of The Hunt with Jordan Wolf. We follow Jordan back to familiar territory in Durham. And in Dallas, he and his Rattlers teammates look to bring an MLL championship down south. All this while preparing to represent the red, white, and blue. I think it's, you know, cliche to say, but it, it is so true. There's just a different feeling when you're wearing Team USA. I felt that the first time I got to do it. It's the highest honor you can possibly have in our sport, and I take that very seriously. I, I'm very fortunate that I have this opportunity. I want to obviously make the most of it. But national team spots are tough to earn, even for the top players. Trying out for Team USA was definitely a long and, and grueling process. Especially for me, I was going through hamstring surgery in the very beginning of this, so a lot of question marks there. But it was long, it was two years, a lot of different events, a lot of ups and downs. He's nervous if he's gonna make the team, and everyone knew he was gonna make it. Uh, but he was really worried about the fact that he might not be in that cut. After we made the team that next week, and he shot me a note saying, I really can't believe that we're gonna be able to wear this jersey. It's a dream come true. You know, Jordan was in college in the last tryouts. He was given a tryout and he decided not to take it. He was committed to his Duke teammates. And I think that spoke a lot about him as a teammate, a lot about him as a person. You know, for all the guys who, who went through this commitment to be able to focus on this, keep your bodies right. So it was definitely long, but obviously it paid off, thankfully. An extra focus being that Coach Danowski was the coach because I knew how badly I wanted to play for him again. I have an amazing relationship with Coach D. What he's done for me as a man and, and growing up, nothing but love and respect. I mean, I'm so fortunate that he's a part of my life. I know specifically Jordan wants to win for Matt. You know, I know Matt Janowski means a lot to him, and I know Jordan would love to walk off that field not worrying about the medal, but worrying about celebrating with Matt and celebrating with the Janowskis and celebrating with Ned and having that opportunity to relish that moment. He knows what it means to them and it's gonna be an opportunity in Israel for Jordan to really, to shine for us and, and to carry us in a lot of ways. The dream to play on the national team is something that I've had with me for a while. I remember watching on TV four years ago and I think at that moment I set my mind that I wanted to do this. I don't think any of us have played with a team this talented. I certainly have not. From top to bottom, offensively, defensively, in goal, there's so much different talent, very diverse guys can play multiple positions. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to gel with this team. So I think there's an added focus and everyone's excited to, you know, be on this team. My goal for the summer is to win the championship. It should be everyone's goal. People are really buying into the team uh, and realizing how this is much bigger than any individual accomplishments. There's definitely pressure. For me, this is my first time doing this, being a part of this and going through the process. So I feel an even bigger need to win this. I think there's an extra added focus for because of that. A lot of guys will say that Jordan really means it. You know, he really doesn't care about the individual accolades. He really cares about the older guys being able to hoist the trophy at the end and, and celebrate with them. 